Hey, good morning. I want to speak to you from the heart this morning. I was reading about Samson, and uh, Samson, uh, you know, he kept messing around with Delilah there. He knew what was right, and he kept doing what was wrong. And uh, that's how we know that story, because he kept doing what was wrong. And, and then uh, when it come time for him to do work for the Lord, he would shake himself, and then uh, the anointing would come on him, and then he, he would be able uh, to defeat his enemies. And then we know the end of the story there that uh, finally uh, at the very end, uh, they cut his hair and uh, he uh, uh, tried to shake himself just like he did before, uh, but he had no strength within him. And uh, I'm going to tell you this story from a little bit different angle. <clears throat> we as Christians uh, that are in the world, you know, not every day do we get up and feel like doing cartwheels. Um, you know, the weight of the world uh, can weigh a person down. Uh, you know, Samson, he was uh, committing fornication. He was doing things he wasn't supposed to be doing. Uh, but in the world, we can get caught up in just day-to-day -day activities, the weight of finances, the weight of paying the mortgage, the weight of uh, trying to be everywhere at once. You know, <clears throat> maybe if you're in ministry trying to help too many people at the same time and you just overextend yourself. And uh, I, I'm telling you this this morning because uh, even Paul had to tell Timothy uh, to stir himself up, uh, to stir himself up in the things of the Lord. That's over in uh, 2 Timothy 1.6. And he says, God's not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Well, Paul was telling Timothy that, not because he was out like acting like Samson and, and committing fornication and, and, and fooling around in the party in life. <clears throat> He was weighted down with other things. And Paul had to tell him, stir yourself up. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And you say, well, why did he say that? Fear, fear uh, comes from the thought of failing. And that's where depression sets in. That's where you want to wake up and you think of the weight of what you've got to accomplish today. Maybe you don't even know the answer. And you feel like pulling that pillow back over your head. Don't even want to get up. But we can always go to the Lord. Remember the prodigal son. Uh, he came to himself. He was right in the middle of the pig pen, and he came and went back home to his father, and his father received him openly. That's the gift that you and I have, one of the multiple gifts, many promises that we have as Christians, uh, that we can always go to God. And listen, even if you're not a born-again uh, person, you can become a child of God by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Why am I telling you this this morning? Well, because not every day is a good day, and uh, every day is a gift, but we need to be able to remind ourselves, remember, uh, to run to the Father, go to the Father, like the prodigal son, you know, Samson, even when he was sinning, he would shake himself, and sometimes we got to shake ourselves, be like Timothy, stir ourselves up. Uh, or be like the prodigal son, come home, and the Father will receive us with open arms, no matter what you're going through today, uh, and it may not be a daily thing, it may be something, a bad rut, it may be a bad situation, don't ever forget that to stir yourself up, keep confidence, and like Paul told Timothy, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind, hey, we can always go to God, and uh, he may not fix it the way we want it, but he'll fix it, and it'll be right, and we'll come out the other side stronger. Hey, God bless you. I love you. Share this like it. Somebody needs to hear this this morning. Somebody needs an encouraging word, and uh, by you sharing this, uh, you can reach people that I can't. Hey, God bless you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.